Okay, so in this video, we're just going to review the questions in the Quick Fleming's uh, left hand rule quiz. Um, so just to start off with, we'll just recap what each finger represents. So our first finger tells us the direction of the magnetic field. Your second finger points in the direction of conventional current. Actually, let me drop in. And that means your thumb will point in the direction that the object will experience a magnetic force, sometimes called the Lorentz force. force. Uh, so that's just the information you just have to know before you can even do any of the following questions. Okay, so next one. So what we're going to do is figure out the direction of the force acting on this wire. So uh, let's just get up to where I've saved that one. Uh, so this is the question we were just looking at. So the first thing you have to do is work out which direction the field is going. So the field always goes from north to south. Our current is going from left to right. So the way you should have your left hand set up is like you can see on the right hand side. So your middle middle finger should point to the right. Your first finger should be pointing down and that leaves your thumb pointing at your screen. So we describe that as being into the plane of the page. OK, so let's move on to the next one. So this time we've got a slightly different setup. So let's scroll to where I've got the photos of this one. So in this sit situation, we've got the field going from left to right. We've got conventional current coming down the page. So that's so your middle finger is pointing down because it's conventional current. Your first finger points from left to right, and that leaves your thumb pointing at you. So essentially, we're going to get a force out of the plane of the page here. OK, so this time we've got a slightly different setup. So we've got the current going in the same direction as the field. So again, I've sketched my field lines on here. So the current is in the same direction as the field. So if you find a situation, there is going to be no force at all. So um, the magnetic force relies on the charged particles going at an angle to the field and you get maximum force when they're perpendicular to the field, but you get no force when they're traveling parallel to your field. OK, so this one, we've got the current going into the page. So let's see that here. So again, I've sketched on my magnetic field lines here. So if you see an X, that always means into the page. This one actually told you it was going into the page. So you can see my first finger is going across from left to right. My middle finger is pointing at the screen. It's kind of hard to see from this picture um, or because my middle finger doesn't straighten properly uh, because of it being stamped on playing rugby too many times. But my middle finger is pointing at the screen. My first finger is going from left to right. And then my thumb is end up pointing down towards the bottom of the page. So then final question, just essentially summarizing a couple of key things that we saw there. So if a charged particle is traveling perpendicular to the magnetic field, it experiences maximum force. And if it's traveling parallel, it experiences a force of zero. And if it's a, some angle in between those two, it experiences some force in between those two. Um, it actually follows kind of like a sine wave uh, in terms of how its size works. So the key is it's perpendicular, it's maximum, parallel, it's nothing. And then in between, it's somewhere in between those two.